there have been so many Spider-Man movies in my lifetime. I was born in 1990, so I remember when the first Spider-Man movie came out that was like a big deal in my lifetime. It had to be in 2000 and, well, it had to be the year 2000 because I remember the whole controversy over the Twin Towers and there was a Spider-Man uh, in between the two tower, the Twin Towers with a web and he was catching two airplanes flying between them. And they had to, of course, in soon as before the movie was released in 2001, um, the movie was being released like the month after September 11th. Of course, they had to go back and, and remove all of that from the movie, which is absolutely crazy. What a coincidence, right? Um, so anyway, there's there's been that those Spider-Man movies, and then there's been like four other franchises. And I've always liked Spider-Man. I always like to go see the Spider-Man movies, but I have not seen this particular franchise yet. So we're going to watch the trailer um, and see if they can put their own spin on it. Here we go. The Spider-Man Far From Home trailer is about to play, but if you haven't seen Avengers Endgame yet, stop watching because there's some serious spoilers about stop to come up. Watching. But if you have seen Avengers Endgame, enjoy the trailer. You've been warned, folks. Everywhere I go, I see his face. I just really miss him. Yeah, I miss him too. I don't think Tony would have done what he did if he didn't know that you were going to be here after he was gone. You going to be the next Iron Man now? Well, no, I don't have time. I'm too busy doing your jobs. Oh. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Look, keep up the good work <laughs> because I am going on vacation. Is that an Iron Spider-Man suit? Heads up. Nick Fury's calling you. I don't really want to talk to Nick Answer Fury. The phone. Why? Because if you don't talk to him, then I have to talk to him. I don't want to talk to him. You sent Nick Fury to voicemail? I gotta go. You do not ghost Nick Fury. Hey, Dorks. What's up? We're just talking about the trip. I'm here in St. Marco Polo's. Oh! I think MJ really likes me. That reminds me when I first fell in love. You're a very difficult person to contact, oh. Spider-Man. This is Mr. Beck. We could have used someone like you on my world. New world? Beck is from Earth, just not ours. The snap to our hole in our dimension. You're saying there's a multiverse? We have a job to do, and you're coming with us. Wait, I have to pause. It's Robin from How I Met Your Mother. I love her. I love anything she's in. I remember that she was in Avengers, but I kind of forgot because she was only in it for like 20 seconds. Uh, I'll watch literally anything that she's in. Gotta be someone else you can use. What about Thor? Off world. Captain Marvel. Unavailable. But I'm just a friendly neighborhood Spider Man. Bitch, please, you've been to space. More Colby Smulders, come on. What do you want, Peter? I wanna go back on my trip with the girl who I really like and tell her how I feel. MJ, I am Spider Man. No, of course I'm not. I mean, it's kind of obvious. <laughs> You're right, you may not be ready, but this is my responsibility. Saving the world requires sacrifice. Sometimes people die. Oh my god. I just always feel like I'm putting my friends in danger. The world needs the next Iron Man. Are you going to step up or not? For Spider-Man? I work with Spider-Man, not for Spider-Man. <laughs> New plan. <laughs> July 2nd, that comes out the day before my birthday, July 3rd. Um, so I think I might have to catch up on the first movie and then go see this one because this looks fun. This looks like a fun, fun movie. Um, I think one of the reasons that I really love Spider-Man is all those tricks and acrobatics that he does and backflips and swinging around on webs and I'm a gymnast and also a swimmer so I love seeing all the um, acrobatics that he can do it's always very visually appealing this looks like you have to go see it in 3D I don't think you should see this unless you're going to see it in 3D IMAX um, 
What do you guys think? Are you going to go see this in the theaters? Uh, do you like the spin and the twist that they put on it with including all the other um, characters in there? It looks like Spider-Man is still going to be the central focus of this while adding in those other characters. I don't think they're going to overshadow him too much. Um, I think this guy's name is Tom Holland, if I'm correct. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. Um, but this actor seems to have proven himself that he can hold the movie on his own, even with these stronger, older actors that are more well-known in there with them. Write your thoughts in the comments down below, and you can see more videos, well, in the next video.